Hi everyone, so today I'll be working with this new die set and um, Stampin' die set that Diamond Press has brought to HSN ahead of the September 17th craft day. Uh, it's the In My Thoughts die and stamp kit. So let me get this guy open. Uh, they did send this item free of charge from my review and of course all opinions are my own and any links out of the description box will be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. So thank you for using those if you would like. Again, with HSN and YouTube, it might be a little embedded here in the video. little shopping bag might save you products, something like that. Um, look at this. Okay, cool. Oh, I love sprigs. You know I love sprigs. <laughs> I love sprigs. You just pop them here and there. I love that so much. Um, let me open this guy up. So it looks like, oh, okay, we have like sentiments. And then, sorry about that. I know it's very loud. Um, and then our dies to cut those out. And then you have the sprigs to pop here and there. This is very lovely. Okay. So, standard issue items here. We have our uh, sticky sheets. You get two of those. Sorry about that. I'm ready to see vehicle passing by there. So you get two of those. You get instruction on how to use them. You have a um, applicator and you'll have your uh, cutting folder for the marquee. So again, these thin metal dies will go through clearly the marquee. But if you don't have one, they'll go through any machine that cuts thin metal dies. Um, let's look at the inspo and then we'll check out our dies and our sprigs. This is gonna make a really lovely card I can tell because you have this big sizable you know um, sentiment and then or statement piece and then you have your little sprigs there so again it's called in my thoughts so you have difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations hope this note finds you well sending you some love today you are never far from our thoughts for some things there are no words uh, ain't that the truth right so grateful for your friendship and then you're pretty much the best really cute really cute and so this side we have some more um, kind of an everyday kind of uplifting type thing and then we have the cute little sprigs again I mean how adorable so this one they just made like a little frame of sprigs a little wreath very cute and this one just the sprigs hanging out in the back with the slimline I mean so many ways to play with this so really really great let me give you some sizing I'll probably size the dies so that you have more information because you know if I measure this the die might be right on or maybe a little extra but um, like this one's almost three inches tall same thing with that one like three and an eighth some of them are a little bit different this one's about three inches wide maybe an inch and three quarters tall sorry I didn't do the widths over here two and three quarters ish almost three so that gives you an idea and then the sprigs are a really nice size um, two and a half ish on that one same thing there maybe a little bit more of a medium size it's like one and three quarters and that's what those look like very cool and then I love their carriers they always put some pretty color kind of inspo on there for you guys so let me grab a card base and you know we'll get right to it I'll be right back so just grab some colors a little unexpected a little more toned down kind of earthy colors why not Sorry, I was gonna oh, say no, that no, no, no. Uh, gives me an idea we'll use our neutral um, enamel dots too so I'm just gonna cut this down a two size paper that's eight and a half by eleven we're gonna cut it at five and a half inches and score it at four and a quarter to make a standard card base your typical kind of card base and then uh, I'm going to cut some of this uh, craft card for a topper. Probably already five and a half, but we're going to cut it at four and an eighth. And then I'll cut it down to five and three eighths because that's the matte layer I like. But if you like, you know, easier numbers, even though all you have to do is light it up. But, you know, five and a quarter by four, top the whole thing, five and a half by four and a quarter. So um, we have that guy. I was just debating something in my mind. I'm going to go ahead and glue that down, but if you want to put some, you know, run that through an embossing folder, that'd be really nice. Uh, let's get this guy going. Honestly, you can even do some, like, skeleton. Sorry, <laughs> that sounds uh, a little scratchy there. Um, like, if you take these guys and just pop one here, it'll cut, like, a little skeleton of the um, leaf out, you know what I'm saying? Just ways to add texture in the background. That'd be really cute. Okay, so for this one, we have this guy. I should stick that down a little more, you know, not crooked would be good. <laughs> if it were straight, that would be better for this application. Okay. Um, I am going to do some stamping. And instead of, you know, I'm going to stamp on cream colored paper, but this makes a really nice, another card base, right? So I don't want to cut into that. So what I'm going to do is... We'll stamp our sentiment on this guy. And then I grab these colors just to make the fun kind of wreath in the background, but like with just some really gorgeous colors. So I grab these guys. So we'll use that in just a moment. But I think, 
if I'm going to do the whole wreath one, I'm going to go with You Are Never Far From Our Thoughts. And maybe I'll stamp that. You know, you can do it in gold and uh, heat emboss it or heat set it. Um, I do have my gold ink pad <laughs> from recent here. You know what? Let's do that. And then, so let me grab a couple other items. I'll be right back. So I'm going to set this up on here and I probably should have done that off camera already. Sorry, guys, but here we go. And pretty sure the die is kind of nearby that, so put that there. Let's pick it up here. I'm going to use a little embossing buddy so that hopefully the embossing powder doesn't just stick everywhere. I'm going to take this guy and get that stamped up. Again, all you need is a stickiness from the pigment ink like that, um, and then your powder will stick to it for sure. But I just want to make sure I have that. So you're not touching over there. And these are acrylic stamps, so just some really nice firm, even pressure. I'm actually going to remove this from this, and I should have had a little scrap of paper here. See what happens when you're just kind of going for it. <laughs> I forget things. Uh, let me. I'll put it on here. This is pretty bendy. It'll help me get it back into the pot. Make sure that it's really getting on there. Okay. And if you have any that, you know, where you don't want it, I need a little bit more here. Um, I usually just use like a little brush or whatever and just brush that aside like this little part here I do not want that there so just get rid of those and I'm gonna heat set that and I'll be right back put that back in here I'm gonna let that um, settle just cool off and I'm gonna clean up a little bit and I'll be right back okay guys so we have our sentiment here uh, looks like it is this one no not that one um, this one <laughs> let's see Yay, okay. So, I mean, I feel like I can see right down in there, but um, if you want to do a drop shadow, you can definitely pick out a color that's going to coordinate and then make yourself a little aperture. Uh, let's see here. I don't know that I'll be doing that today because we have our little frame, and I think that'll help, you know, highlight our sentiment. So, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to cut this down a little bit, and I'm going to take some washi tape. And we're just going to run this through some sc a scrap of paper. And let's grab cutting folder. Okay, well, here's one that I've been using. I'm just going to cut into that guy. And this will just make us a little, like, window that we can see how we're cutting so we have a better idea of that. <laughs> and have a nice border. So we just toss that. Unless it's a drop shadow, then you keep it. You know, you're going to use it for your project here. But for now, what you're going to do is just lift this up. Do not remove it because you want it to act as a little guide for you. So as you look, you can see exactly where you're going to be cutting. And if you're happy with that, just plop it back down and make sure it's right in the same spot, right? This is really nestled back in where it came from. And then a little more tape or a lot more, however you feel more secure about it. Um, with this one... I don't really want touching the heat embossing, so we're just going to do that. Again, I'm still kind of being careful with it. That doesn't move too much. And I'll roll it through again. I roll it through very carefully and slowly because I don't want to shake the camera too much, but you know, you can just crank it out. <laughs> there we go. And that is our sentiment cut really nicely. I love the amount of edge on that. It's going to look really nice. And then, so for our other portion here, people ask me if I keep this. You can definitely keep it, you know, for the next one or however, but generally I just cut a new one every time. Because um, sometimes I am doing a drop shadow so I can reuse it. Not reuse it, so I can use the one that I'm cutting out. Um, so for this part of it, I'm just going to take the ones that look like they're kind of going in a round shape. I think most of these are doing that, but I do want it to be a little bit smaller and tighter, so maybe this one. And I'll cut them from gold or however, and then maybe this one. So 
So I'll just start cutting out a ton of these and then we'll just play with them As to I make it. These, I was kind of forming them into that circle shape to see about how many I would need. It looks like four of each would just about do it. You know, it depends on how full you're making your your project here. I was like, where's the other one? It's still over here. So let me clean up just a little bit and we'll start forming this into the wreath that we want on our card. Okay, so let me clear this away. Put a little piece of tape right here. And start with these guys in the background just to kind of see the general shape. They are kind of going in a different direction than the gold one. So, so I think about, okay. In that general direction there. All right, so what I'm going to do is just start gluing this down and then I'll bring in the gold ones and tuck them wherever I feel like. I mean, you can kind of get those going right now too. I'm leaving it kind of a little bit of glue, a little bit unglued because that way if I need to tuck something in, if I think it looks better, then I'll do that, you know? I'll go behind, maybe a little bit in front. Okay. It's the loudest car in the world. All right. All right, let's see here. I kind of like the way that's looking like that. Okay, I'm going to hold this part down for a moment. And then we'll continue on. So that gold is kind of peeking out. I'm just going along with it, you know. And this guy is going to start making that circle. I kind of gave myself a good amount of size because I want that a little bit there, a little bit there. Okay. Maybe a little bit wider. And pick that up just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to hold these pieces down and then we'll continue on. These guys aren't glued down yet. So let's keep going. I'm oh, sorry. Kind of go in there. A little bit more over here. Okay, wait. <laughs> let's stick to the paper, not my hand. And when I'm done, I'll just put some weight on top of everything so everything sticks down. So you see, I did put glue on every petal. I'm just, or leaf. I'm just kind of doing that loosely right now. And then our last one goes in that direction. That is quite pretty. Okay. So I'll hold them down kind of with my hand, but then I artificially hold them down like I'll put something heavy on top. And then we'll pop this in, or I mean, it can be like this too, right? So, okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have that there. It looks really pretty. You can make an oval kind of frame too with it. I think that'd be really lovely. Um, you know, whatever shape you like. Uh, okay, so I already put some dimensionals on this guy while well, it was on break there <laughs> and so let's put this in here right down in the center that looks really nice and just give it a little press in the back just to really get those dimensions stuck down I mean really really pretty so I do have the neutral um, enamel shapes so I think what I'll do is kind of open this up and just see what it is that I would want to put on here or which color and just pop them here and there. Lovely. Oh, how about the peachy ones? That'd be cute. And again, I'm going to go with the circular ones. So I'm just going to go around and just add some of these here and there. Um, wherever I think they look nice. And that'll be that, guys. So again, with these guys, I like groups of three. But, you know, maybe I'm just going to make them all the same size as the little guys. Cute. So yeah, I'll just go in and pop them here and there 
and I'll have some images for you guys. I'll have the links in the description box. And thank you so much, Diane Press, for sending these items for review. I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.